hey YouTube land okay so uh, this is gonna be I want to say our third video um, you know in a way some of this healing has been slow going but in, in other ways it's been fast so I think where I left you guys is you know I had this surgery on the 8th we did post off on the 20th and we started physical therapy on the 26th uh, today is going to be February 1st, 2001. So yesterday was actually, you know, you figure what, the 15th, the 22nd, the 29th. Um, so a little over three weeks was the first time that I was able to take my right hand, the one that I had the surgery on. <clears throat> and one of the challenging things with showering after this is... Uh, trying to take your right arm underneath and wash your armpit. So it's the small victories, right? Like, uh, so, you know, that was kind of my little milestone, right? I could brush my teeth now with this hand. Um, you're still in the sling. They want you to sling four to six weeks. I'm not there yet, but you know, if I'm sitting down, I take my arm out of it to kind of stretch it out. So my elbow doesn't just constantly stay bent. Um, and since we're in physical therapy now, you know, two to three times a day, I'm doing my exercises at home. Um, <clears throat> you know, have I been able to do it two or three times a day? No, I've been, you know, once, you know, but then I go to physical therapy another twice a week too. Um, and I have to say, you know, the, the pain really isn't there. If I was to push it, it would be, um, you know, we're not doing any kind of weights yet at this point, guys, you are just trying to get range of motion. So, I'm going to show you what my little um, PT sessions look like and your therapist might have you do something different, but I'm just giving you an idea of roughly where you're going to be at, you know, two to three weeks after your process and, you know, physical therapy and you can compare notes and, you know, leave, leave comments below here. So what they're going to have you do is take like a broomstick and, you know, he just took a stick and he put it in a, in a weight. Um, or you could use any kind of a Swiffer, something that has like a, a swivel head on it, right? You're going to be going forward and backward. They have you do that 30 times. And then you're going to do circles, right? Like the size of a cantaloupe one way, 30 circles the other way. And then after that, they are going to have you stand up. And uh, they told me to do it with like about a, like a tuna can. And you're going to do bent over rows. So you're going to come from this motion and go up. And then you're going to let your arm hang. And 30 circles this way. Again, about the size of a cantaloupe. You're not going super wide. And then you're going to do 30 circles the other way with this arm. Um, after that, they have you lay down on your back. And again, you're just going to take a broomstick or a broomstick cut in half. And they're actually going to have you take your good arm and your bad arm and you're going to push up this broomstick like a bench press and to try to get your arm to extend your good arm is going to help support and push up that stick to kind of you know drag the 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 lazy dead one behind you know kind of reactivate those those muscles in your delts and whatnot wake those up and after you do like 15 of those you know, um, and it, you might feel a little comfortable shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit closer. But after that, you're going to do like 15 of kind of like these paddle strokes with it. Still in a bench press position. Make circles with it this way and then circles with it, you know, the other way. They had me when I was laying down with that broomstick. As you're laying back, you're going to take it and you're almost going to curl it kind of to where there's not gravity on it, right? Because you're laying on your back. The broomstick is down here like this and you're flat and you're curling it just to activate that bicep. Not because I have the supraspinitis, the rotator cuff surgery, but as I was telling you earlier, that long bicep tendon that I had <clears throat> was frayed. So they also cut that and reattached that. So I have a bicep that's healing up here as well. The other thing that you're gonna be doing is you'll put your hands together like this. Again, you're gonna to try to lift them up and again, your good one is kind of clasping the uh, one that you had surgery on. You're going to get it up kind of high and you'll bring it down. 
and you'll probably do that before and after your PT just to see how much higher you could go after it's kind of warmed up and loosened up a bit. So that's the routine that we did about the first two times. After that, the other thing that they implemented in uh, was, you know, you can still do heat and cold compresses. Um, but then they had a system where there was like a pulley system with a rope on it and you have a handle in one arm and a handle in the other arm and it's the same premise. With your good arm, you're pulling your bad one up and you're trying to get it to extend up. So, you know, still don't have the greatest range of motion with this, but like I said, just to be able to wash, brush your teeth, eat food with your dominant hand, um, it is a lot of relief. Um, and, and it's just the little things that help you kind of regain some normalcy. So, I mean, really guys, that's, you know, three weeks in, um, we'll probably give it another week before I make another video, just to let you know what, what else this is going to be looking like for you. Um, even a month post-op, you know, whether I'm out of the sling, whether I'm still in the sling, um, any other range of motions, uh, that I'm able to kind of achieve and you could, you know, mark your progress against mine. Uh, and we'll, we'll see if maybe, you know, if I, maybe I'm able to heal from this relatively fast. Like I said, in no way am I saying I'm ready to go to the gym and in no way am I telling you this is your physical therapy regimen. I'm not a physical therapist. I'm just sharing with you what they're doing with me and you know, where my progress is. So this way, you know, you, aren't sitting at home prior to this surgery and you're asking yourself, well, you know, do I need somebody here to take care of me? Am I going to be able to brush my teeth? Am I going to be able to feed myself? Um, you know, am I going to need somebody to shower me? Uh, you know, so, you know, we all don't have somebody there for us. A lot of us get this done at different ages. Um, you know, as returning to work an option for me, you know, not if you have a physical job, it's not, I mean, you know, cause I'm, I'm telling you, you're in this sling, you know, definitely four to six weeks. And after that, you know, it's not even about really the resistance. It's, it's about just regaining your, your, uh, range of motion. I mean, you know, but we'll see along this process of when I'm actually to start, you know, able to do some back or bench press or even, um, bicep activity, you know, we are going to, uh, think throw another video up here or maybe we'll cut it in with this one as far as just some things that will help you with this, whether it's getting dressed, um, you know, how to do your clothing, uh, just little, little bits of info here. So, you know, one of the things you can do, uh, pre surgery is I would tell you take several shirts, cut them from your sleeve all the way up your armpit, down your armpit, along the side of where your ribs are. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to get this arm in post-surgery through a shirt, and then you'll be able to, you know, kind of, if you don't have anybody else to help you, put your other arm through the sleeve and pull it down over your head. But you won't have to worry about trying to get that sleeve up and over. So go out, buy yourself a pack of cheap, you know, T-shirts from Walmart, and I would say to cut them, you know, you're probably going to want at least a good, you know, three to five of them. Because like I said, surgery was on Friday and I was not able to shower until Monday. Those were the orders. So, <clears throat> you know, you want to still have fresh clothes. Uh, it just helps with your general, you know, your general, um, just, just, uh, your, your keeps your morale up, right? You're not feeling well. You don't want to be, you know, not feeling well and funky. So you want to feel as clean as you can. Um, but the other thing is trying to get dressed by yourself. So socks, and I'm probably going to have Rich blur out my feet. I don't know what's possible on this guy. So I apologize if I don't have the cutest feet ahead of time, but <clears throat> you know, trying to get your socks on with one hand, because again, this thing's in a sling, right? So you're not really able to reach down. You don't want to be in a situation where you're trying to stand up, get this sock on and, you know, pull down on that arm and force it to come down. So you're going to learn to be a lot more proficient with one hand and just taking your sock, opening it up like this, 
getting your foot in there. See how I got a kind of got a big grip on there, and then you're gonna be able to get it up there. You can tell just by force of habit, I'm still keeping this arm tucked into my side up here, almost as if I still had my sling on. So <clears throat> there's gonna be that. You know, and then even if you're in the shower, you know, and you're trying to wash your, your feet. And somebody might say, I don't feel well enough, I'm not washing my feet, but you know, you might only shower every other day for a while just because it's a bit of a hassle. So again, just being in the shower and, and this works for your socks too, that you know, because you might be able to get the one foot sitting down, but you know, I'll put my head against the wall and in the shower, I'll reach up with one foot, still keep my head balanced on the wall, reach up with the other foot, wash, you know, that one. And again, even standing up without the sling on guys, right now as I'm doing those activities, it's like I've already trained myself. Just keep this arm tucked in, you know, keep it out of the way. So this way, if you go to fall, you don't instinctively grab onto something and, you know, re-injure yourself. So, and I mean, I, I can leave it down by my side right now. It's fine. Like I said, if, if we were eating or, you know, pulling it up or brushing my teeth, all that stuff, you know, three weeks in, I'm, I'm pretty good with. You just don't want to get too cocky because next thing you know, you know, the broom goes to fall or you're messing with your cell phone and it goes to fall. And what do you do? You know, and I've done that a few times already. You know, when I've been out the sling, I'll, I'll have to catch myself. I'll butterfinger something and I reach out to grab it. So, um, you know, those few little things as far as getting dressed, shirts, socks, you know, have some shoes that you can just kind of do what I'm doing and plop your foot in there and, and get it on. But, um, you know, you're going to be doing some modifications unless you got someone to take care of you, you know, all the time, which just, you know, for many of us, it's not realistic. Our spouses work, um, you know, uh, or, you know, they, they don't come home till after five or whatever the case might be. So again, hopefully these videos are helping you out. Um, giving you an idea of what to expect having this rotator cuff surgery and you know and I would say a lot of these things were the same when I had um, a distal bicep rupture that was um, eh, I'm not gonna mess with this right now but there's a scar over here because the short head had snapped off the tendon <clears throat> snapped off and it's kind of the same thing you got you're, you're, you're out of hand you know, you're not able to clean yourself with your dominant hand. You're, it's still very limited. Um, so, you know, really a lot of this stuff that I'm telling you is true for anything when you're minus the use of a, of a limb. Um, again, questions, comments, uh, like, subscribe, check out other things we have here. You know, there's a lot of other things on our channel that's dealing with food, nutrition, um, owning a small business. So if you see one of those other videos and you have a question about, you know, small business, entrepreneurship, uh, diet, nutrition, um, you know, leave us a, a comment and uh, I'll be happy to develop another video on that, answering whatever you have. Thank you very much.